terrifying moments on a Colorado highway. A woman is shot in the neck. I'm on the highway right now. Somebody just hit me and I'm bleeding from my neck and I'm bleeding. The 20 year old frantically calling for help and now police are trying to figure out if someone is targeting innocent drivers. Two other cars in the area north of Denver just had windows shattered by what may have also been gunshots. Do we have a serial killer on the loose? Joining us now is former homicide detective Rod Wheeler. Good morning, Rod. Good morning, Peter. I'm always so happy and so comforted when you're on this show. Thank is you. there a serial shooter at risk, perhaps? Right. You know, that's a good question. And I think, Peter, that's a question that a lot of people in that community out there in Colorado is trying to answer. Now, what, what I think we have at this moment is maybe a spree shooter. Now, what's the difference between a spree shooter and a serial killer? Uh, what we have here is someone that's uh, randomly shooting at vehicles that's moving along the roadway. Now, this shooting, Peter, is a little bit different from the D.C. sniper case that you remember I was very heavily involved I with as far as tracking. And um, it's a little bit different because, see, the D.C. snipers, they actually targeted their victims. With this case, Peter, right now, from reading published reports, it appears as though the victims are all random and they're moving, as a matter of fact. So it'd be interesting to see what the uh, investigators find out. Well, we're looking at Larimer and Weld counties. I guess we have four different attacks. What should people think when they're driving along the road? Is there any way that you can protect yourself from an attack like this? Well, not really, not in this case so far. And the reason I say that is because we have not seen a specific pattern that's been established by whoever this shooter is. What, one thing we do know, though, is that the shootings have all occurred within a 20 mile radius. So it seems like if you kind of stay out of that area, you'll probably be okay. Luckily, no one has been killed at this point, but at the same time, it's been very close because just like you reported, there was one woman that was shot actually in the neck. Wow. And the thing is, she was looking forward when she was shot. So. It's, it's a very dangerous situation, and the police are working frantically to try to figure out who this person is. In our last 15 seconds, how will this case be busted open on human intelligence or something else? I think it's going to be a combination of human intelligence, hard police work, yeah. and a lot of forensics, ballistics reports. That's going to help out a lot in solving this case. Peter. I wish Rod Wheeler was on this case. Rod Wheeler, great <laughs> to see you today. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Up next on the rundown, fire.